Please subscribe to this channel, share with your friends and family, and most importantly, remember to turn on the notification button to enjoy our fresh and exciting news update. Thank you. I tried to ask him for anything. There was even a time I asked him to help me when I had rent issues. He just ghosted me and then later, after a while that he knew that everything was already calm and I didn't need the help anymore, he came back and started texting me again. So it happened that like two like two weeks I stayed in my friend's hostel for like two weeks because we were having exams. So during that time he still used to text me so like he even called me one day like that and he said he wanted to see me. So I talked about the man with my friend and I told her that like I've like I don't want to have like any sexual relations with him at all at all at all. But at that time I was also in need of some money for some personal stuff that I wanted to sort. So that was like the idea of like stealing cash from him, like maybe from his car because mostly people used to like have cash inside their car in the middle place of their car. So the idea was that like if he agrees to do BDSM with us like to like BDSM is like the kind of sex where you tie the person's hands and legs. So while his hands and legs are tied we can like take cash or whatever valuable we can find and live with it. But it turned out that that day, even when we went to see him that day, when he asked us to come, we even talked to him about needing jobs. But he told us that they, like, he did not have any job available at the time. But with time, that he would be able to find something for us. And he also liked my friend that day. He was even like he was telling my friend that he likes her and he wants to sleep with her and everything. Basically, that day he was like. Yeah. He was proposing that he wanted to like have sex with the both of us. So we now proposed the car sex to him and he agreed and the BDSM too he agreed. He wasn't telling us already from the garden about how he was going to deal with us and everything when we get inside. Although we were not bothered because we knew we were not planning to have sex with him and we just wanted to like take his cash and leave. So he now told her that I started raining. So instead of us going to the car, he now told us to go across to a building that was across the garden when we went to meet him. So when we went inside, we were waiting at the reception and then he just came and he started going inside, following him. Then it turned out that it was a room. Like we didn't know that the guest house that was there, maybe he works there or he owns it. So when we went inside the room, with him, my friend went inside, she excused herself and went inside the toilet and I don't die inside the toilet. So while we were inside the toilet, I explained to my friend that um, his car sex that we wanted to do, this one that he has brought us into the room, what are we now going to do now about it? So she was like, I should be calm. We went back inside with the man and because he already had eyes and attention for my friend before he started touching her immediately we came out and he carried her and placed her on the table he moved his shirt like he got naked and he got on the bed then i got on the bed with him he allowed my friend to tie his hand and tie his leg he was even the one that raised up his leg for her to tie him so after she tied his hand and his leg Based on the fact that we were in a room and not in a car, because normally we thought that if we want to have cassette with somebody, it cannot be in a public place that people can easily see or hear. But because it was in a room, so we were already thinking about what we were going to do, like in case, like maybe he starts shouting or something. So. Um, apart from the two ropes that we used to tie his hand and it's like there was one other tiny clothes like all this clothes rope that they used to tie on gown that was tiny so after my friend tied his leg and his hand and she placed the rope in his neck so I had this um, small clothes that I used to tie on my head like small handkerchief I used to tie on my head like a scarf so like after because my friend already tied his leg and his hand so my own turn was to like try to put the handkerchief in his mouth so that that small rope i can use it to like 
closed it so that in case if he wants to shout, he won't be able to shout. But because I panicked and I freaked out, I when I put the clothes in his mouth, he removed it and he told me that he did not want it. Then me too, I now took the clothes and I put it in my mouth and I told him that it's cold. We don't want him to moan too loud, that's why. But he refused. So during um after that time that I refused to put the clothes in his mouth, I just like left him because I also panicked. That was why I could know tie the clothes in his mouth. So during the course of me being on the bed and just crossing him and everything, my um friend went to the bag. We already had um this thing before. We already had um we have no in our bag that we were supposed to like give to him so that you sleep like after so in case so that we'll be able to leave. So my friend put it in her hand and when she tried to pour it into his mouth, he turned his face away and he didn't enter his mouth. He said he didn't need it to lighten up. Please subscribe to this channel, share with your friends and family, and most importantly, remember to turn on the notification button to enjoy our fresh and exciting news update. Thank you.